Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Today, we want to talk about Linux finds a way. What do I mean by this? It's kind of like nature finds a way. Remember that character was at Malcolm, I think, in Jurassic Park. You know, people are meddling with nature here. You're combining DNAs together and nature will find a way. That movie, the first one, I didn't see the other ones other than the first one. But uh, the first movie, the um, the scientists create these dinosaurs. So they're like, well, we've solved the problem. They can't breed in nature. They use frog DNA, which has been known to flop genders, you know, kind of like humans in 2021. And so with this, the um, the mathematician or chaotician, as he describes himself, he says nature will find a way. And indeed, what we found in that movie is that nature found a way the dinosaurs started to breed. Well, Linux itself finds a way. I talked about uh, a few months back, it was maybe it was even six months ago by now, I forget exactly when it was, but all of a sudden, out of the blue, CentOS, a huge popular distribution, announced out of the blue, we're done. And uh, they were maintaining, uh, they were committed to keep the end of life for version 7 another four years out, but the 8, which a lot of people had already switched to, was announced end of life by the end of 2021, giving people only six months to move major production servers because CentOS is a very, very popular platform for hosting companies and things like that. If you think to the hosting companies, like I use A2 Hosting, tlm.li forward slash A2H. I use A2 Hosting a lot. And uh, in that particular company, you're buying your cPanel licenses. Those are all built out on CentOS. In most web hosting companies out there that you use, that was the distribution you're getting. cPanel, it was the only official distribution they generally supported. All of a sudden, out of the blue, no notice on anybody, boom. It caused a stir. And a lot of people are like, oh, what's going to happen? And I had actually commented and said in that CentOS video a while back, I said, you know, I don't think this is going to be the end. What's going to happen is because Linux is Linux, it will find a way and other things will pop up. So not too long ago, this article came out. This is just uh, last updated June 14th. Not sure exactly when it was created. Best CentOS alternative distributions, desktop and server. And you can see here, December 31st, 2021, CentOS project makes a shift to CentOS Stream, which is a rolling release for Red Hat. And what CentOS 8 was supposed to be supported until 2029 came to an immature end at the end of 2021. Now, some people for sure are just going to roll into Red Hat uh, contracts. The CentOS stream is rolling, which is not the best thing for a production server. And so a lot of other Linux distributions just showed up. Alma Linux. Now, some of these have been around for a while, but nobody really knew about them. Alma Linux is an open source operating system, one to one binary compatible with Red Hot. Uh, Red Hat. Red Hot. Yeah, that would be hot sauce, not Linux. Uh, one to one binary compatible with Red Hat. And so it is supported by the community, basically the same thing CentOS was, and says, hey, Alma Linux will be able to support anything you were using CentOS for. I'm not sure if they yet have their first full official distribution out or not. Uh, they can see here, completely free without any usage restrictions, developed to handle enterprise grade. Now, where do they get their funding? They actually get their funding by a lot of projects, donate to the project because they will help do some upstream support on other Linux distributions. So that is good. You can see it's not brand new, uh, although I'm not sure if they have their full one-to-one -one release out. Rocky Linux, it says here, is under development within the last couple weeks since this article was last updated. Rocky Linux has officially released its full um, it's full first version and it is a one-to-one -one CentOS replacement pretty much exactly. So, uh, this guy here is created by one of the co-founders of CentOS. And so you have here, um, you have here a, a situation where this guy is going to be able to step up and anything you could do with CentOS in theory, you should be able to do with Rocky. That's something that we're going to need to test. There's Springdale Linux. I have not 
seen or heard much about this. So uh, my apologies for not knowing as much about this other than what they have here is a uh, development, uh, uh, development pro uh, project of Princeton University. And then, of course, we have uh, Oracle Linux. Now, of course, if you want other servers, if you're just like, okay, well, that sucks. Let me just move off that platform. I personally prefer Debian servers when I have a choice and I need to manage it. Ubuntu servers are pretty good. There's SUSE Linux servers. Of course, they don't include Fedora has server versions as well. Um, I like those, but when I'm doing something like a cPanel for a lot of my, my clients, I host their websites on my, on my cPanel servers. Those guys there, um, Rocky is going to be a good alternative to that. And this is going to be something that we, uh, that we find as a good replacement. So as CentOS dies, all these other ones jump up in its place. Here's some information about Alma Linux open source forever free enterprise Linux distributions. So you can go ahead and uh, play around with this one here. And uh, this is one of the distributions officially supported by cPanel. So you can see over here, cPanel, uh, which is a huge, widely popular application. What operating systems? CentOS, of course, 7 and 8, Cloud Linux, Alma 8. Red Hat, I have a sneaky suspicion Rocky should be added to this list. Who knows? Maybe that's something I'll play with sometime in the future. And then, of course, cPanel did announce when CentOS decided to, all of a sudden, without even informing them about it, go off the rails. They announced that they're going to start working with Ubuntu as well. So you can, as of now, install cPanel on Ubuntu, but it's not yet considered production. So it's currently experimental. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, Rocky Linux, this one here just came out. The first version is finally here. You can download Rocky Linux. You have a, a minimal, you have an, an ARM64, so you have a couple different options there. And uh, I installed this, and I uh, there was a misconfiguration. I wanted to play around a little bit more. I had a misconfiguration. My virtual machine never went back to resolve it. I couldn't get internet access, but uh, that was my fault, not, not, not Rocky's fault. Uh, I do want to have a look at Rocky soon. Uh, there's no desktop environment uh, built into it. Uh, it's just a basic server, but it looks as though it's going to be a complete replacement for CentOS available now. So this is no longer in testing or beta. It is officially released. So the ultimate uh, point here is that Linux does find a way. If a project comes in and it's like, hey, we're going belly up, like, oh, the world ends. No, Linux will find a way. Um, no matter what happens, if companies start taking over, it will sub shoot out. It'll find a way. Because while a large portion of the Linux world is here for doing, you know, enterprise level work supported by the big scary companies where those big companies try and feed stuff into it, we have to remember a good 50% of the people involved in Linux also want nothing to do with any of that, which means Linux is going to find a way. So we don't need to look at all the doom and gloom of the changing distributions. Distributions come, distributions go. Linux, though, will find a way. Is it going to completely die? I doubt it. I know some people have hypothesized that. Uh, that's my personal take. I, I just, I've seen so much adaptability. Uh, anything from weird stuff gets added to the kernel. A lot of hardened Linux distributions pull that weird crap right back out again. No big deal. Linux will find a way. That's my thought. If you agree or disagree, let me know which one uh, is in your camp and let me know why in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Again, I did talk about A2 hosting here. So if you wanted to have a look at them for hosting, have a look at my affiliate there, which is going to be um, tlm.li forward slash A2H. We'll go ahead and have that on the screen. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy... Switching to Linux.